Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Today I'm joined by my friend Sternab, a professional caster, and we are here to cast over all 10 of these coppers here. So Sternab, welcome to the video. How are you doing, my man? Hello, hello. I'm doing very good. I'm very excited for this matchup. I think it's probably one of the best matchups we've seen in Rainbow Six Siege history just yet. Why are you still playing that laptop, bro? I can't afford a new PC. Have you checked out Apex Gaming PCs? No, I haven't. What's that? They're these like really affordable computers that you could pick up. They're really good for like console players who are trying to get into PC gaming or for like people who like yourself who have a laptop or something and want to upgrade for like an affordable price. Let me check it out. Yeah, you can use my link. You could also use code SHOCK to get up to $250 off if you're interested. Yeah. Just absolutely going to be phenomenal gameplay coming out here. You know, I went to the Berlin Major and mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to... Not gonna top it to the right. hype levels of this game. Yeah, I mean, this is just gonna be off the charts. Truly groundbreaking stuff right now. We're seeing really innovative lineups here too. Taking a look at the coppers lineups, that's just absolutely insane they things. Said, they said hard breacher. We don't need it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've got the lion though. We've got the nomad. Who knows why? We've got the buck on Oregon. Buck and sledge, yeah. by the way. Buck, sledge, and Zove. To, to be honest, to be honest, if it brings the book, book hard breach judge, I'll forgive him. Personally, True. personally, I think maybe a little bit of hard breach is necessary here. Yeah, I mean, what sort of play, what what sort of push are they trying to do? They can't push attic. They can't push master. I think it's going to be a white stairs. Yeah, just all five of them, all the, the white stairs. <laughs> you know what I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be everybody on big window. <laughs> that could be a good one too. That could be a good one too. That that's the classic copper push. All five people holding the same two angles on big window. That one's my favorite. Well, we're going to be stuck in the loading screen for a good few years now. So yeah. Hopefully, we can get into the game soon. Yeah, I feel like just being able to play in like inside of attic on the concrete and just throwing the cake claw on the wall would have been possibly a Absolutely. better decision. Absolutely. But they're the professional players here, so... Yeah, right. We are just I'm the sure. casters. What do we know? What do we know? I'm sure they know what's exactly going on here. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. They made the rotate and attic, you know? Like, I'm pretty confident in the uh, in the defense here. I think they're going to take it. Right. What is Electro doing? Oh, the commando on Mozzie. What's your thoughts? Commando or the Roni? I actually, I actually prefer the commando these days. I feel like the Roni... With just the low mag size in the LMG meta, it's just... Uh, that is a fair point. I love the Roni, though. It's got a special place in my heart. Yeah. I, I definitely I definitely don't mind it. I do run every now and then. But, yeah. So, they're not going white stairs, it looks like. It could be a main stairs take. It could be a main stairs push here. Right. And let's check we out... We do have a lot of soft reach. No hard reach gadget on the buck. No hard reach gadget. None we on the line. And... He's Pig is with the kill he already. The first kill. Oh, this is a good a repel angle that Pig has got here. And he sees another one as well because constantly spray and pray. His army manages to block off the window. However, the lion charge goes out. It's still 5v4. I think the attack is set up pretty well here, Shock. Yeah, and I also want to note that that was Blitz getting taken out on the smoke. So that smoke getting taken out 20 seconds into the round. All of his utility gone just like that. Piggy actually oh. with another kill straight into Attic. He's already just rushing straight into sight, but he's going to get refragged by Electro. Yeah, not aware of that Attic angle at all, but some good opening kicks. Out. Is that case down as well? Uh, no, it's, it's not. not. too good. Oh, okay. That's not too good. Okay, so. I still got the case, but we see SCP has gone down. It's now a 2v4 attack. Is looking really good here to try and push it for the trophy side. Alvarez with a couple of flashbangs pushing in. Nades going out as well. It's all starting to fall apart for the defense as well. As Suchi goes down, SCP goes down. It's all down to Electro in a 1v4 to try and bring it back. Still holding that attic angle. It should be aware of that. Oh, they're not aware of it as well. The pre-fire comes in. Saltine goes down. It's a 3v1. Can they clutch it out? Pre-fires come in, but no. Alvarez shoots it down. Electro goes down. And yo, it looks like my faith was misplaced there, Shock, because the defense just got completely nailed. Yeah, and you know, what I think would have been really helpful is the smoke not dying in 20 seconds. Being able to smoke off the trophy door or the big window to just even block line of sights at the very least would have helped a lot there. But I'm just more concerned with the fact that the attack with no hard breach was able to take upstairs and actually win. Well, I feel like that should not happen. I don't believe, I don't believe Attic was reinforced. That oh my god, really? One of the critical issues there. For the I, didn't, I didn't even catch that. I, that's what Sledge opened then, okay. Yeah, because wow. I'm pretty sure that's how Pig managed to get so deep. 
Right. Yeah, that is a crucial mistake. I mean, it's one thing when the attackers aren't bringing a hard breacher, but it's another thing when the defenders just don't reinforce the walls. It kind of just cancels each other out. And it, I yeah. mean, I guess, I guess it didn't really change anything. Yeah, I guess so. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that even despite that, we still had actually some good setup going out from the defense. And, you know, we're getting the rotates, we're getting the freezer angle as well. Like, this is not... This is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. And they're even opening Pony Wall as well. I don't know, do you call this Pony? I don't like call this Pony. I've heard it called Penis Wall. Right. I don't know. Right. I don't Personally, even know I what I call that. that. Normally, so. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like but they're going to yeah, reinforce off bunker here. No smoke yeah. to hold it as well. And there's no Jaeger. They do, they do have a shield from Alibi, so they could they could do something here. It looks like they yeah, it looks like they do want to do something here. Tricky. Not going to be setting up that shield, however. Could be putting it for Shaiko instead. Interesting. Well, we'll see how it goes down. The attack still pretty confident in this lineup. However, they have managed to switch into a Vinker instead. I'm, I'm pretty confident with that. Electro, still feeling pretty confident, but it's a 4v1 there. And yeah, Electro just gets picked up by Saltine. Easy as that. Really good aggression from the attack early on there. I think they're feeling the confidence of Shook. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and especially for Coppers, the way they were able to take map control and get that early pick and kind of all converge on that one defender was actually pretty good. Is it confidence or is it overconfidence? <laughs> I mean, I think I think it might be a, a little bit of overconfidence. Honestly, it might not even be confidence. It might just be ignorance. Not even really sure what to do. Sure. Well, ignorance is bliss, and Saltine's going to prove that just in a second. As he goes for the pre-fires, does know that someone playing inside that closet does still have a nade available. And, well, the rest of the defense doesn't really seem to care about this. They're all still holding down the site. Not a lot of reinforcements going around here. Still still three reinforcements in the pocket as the freezer drop comes in. Half Dunk trying to make something happen with the Finker. Pushing in. Does manage to get down. Tricky Owens trying to maybe retake him here through the laundry. And there goes the Lion Charge just coming out. Alvarez moves in. And Piggy's gaming from the... Oh, this is side. Gets 1k, but instantly gets refrained by Blitz. And so it's a 2k for Blitz. He's trying to bring it back in for his team. But now he's in a 1v3. It's going to have to be an ace from Blitz who wants to bring it in. There there's a third for Blitz. Pathdunk goes down. That's the Finker out of it. It's all down to Saltine and Islay to try and make something happen and not desperately throw this round. They do not have the case, though. Oh, As they push up, man. Blitz can't make it happen. He gets picked up by Saltine. Saltine doing really, really well on that sledge. Yeah, doing a scoreboard check. Saltine, top of the team. Well, second place on his team. Three and one right now. Uh, just below Piggy. Or Pig? Yeah, Pig. That was a crazy few shots from blitz though i was rooting for him there i i wanted to see that 1v4 or whatever it was that was awesome yeah that would have been a crazy would have been a crazy 1v4 but unfortunately he just couldn't make it happen i think some things that i'm noticing here right is that to be honest the gunplay and stuff isn't really that bad but they're making very small like setup mistakes that are really punishing them like not reinforcing the closet wall for example yeah, that's a, a really big mistake. Not there, reinforcing attic on the other rounds. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. something a lot of people when they watch these videos, they'll like, they'll type in the comments saying that like, there's no way these guys are real coppers or whatever. But all of them have like multiple seasons where they've been copper, and not only that, they all have low KDs. So like, if they were Smurf accounts for the past like three or four seasons, like, why would they have such low KDs? I yeah, think it's absolutely. I think coppers are a lot better than people think they are, but it's it's more of like a game sense thing that they're struggling with yeah like if you if you don't have a good game sense i mean i think anyone who plays rainbow will know that the kind of like gun skill is nowhere near as important as just knowing the game and if you don't know the map you don't know the game you don't know what to reinforce then, yeah i mean just yeah, look at I mean, this you're gonna lose rounds just look at the frost map that we just saw underneath the game's window like the chances of anyone repelling in that window are so slim there's a higher chance of just a nade coming through that window and destroying it right now yeah. And the wall is not even reinforced. Yeah, finally, we do see the Cade. I definitely prefer the Cade over the Bandit, but it's not going to matter if they just don't reinforce the wall inside of Master. It's still soft. It just reinforced well, one panel. Thing. If you leave it unreinforced, then they just can come in and then you can kill them. That's the advanced strategy. Right, also. right. Okay. So they're playing 3D chess right now. Yeah, yes, sir. Well, looks like they're still going to make very quick progress again. Really good use of the drones coming out from the attack as well. Like, they're really just just pushing straight off of the intel, just getting straight into the site and just doing whatever they can. There are Malusis around that are probably going to halt that progress a little bit, but there we see the gen reinforcement come out. So, things looking pretty good for the attack here, Shock, I think. 
Yeah, I definitely agree. And we actually might see Tricky trying to get a peek through the attic holes. I'm not sure if this is going to work out for him as there's going to be a oh. nade flying straight in, but it's going to miss a little bit of damage on the path, but half actually yeah. through the wall going to kill Tricky and that salt team with the kill on the SCP. So two big kills already for the blue team. Bit of overconfidence coming out there from Tricky and yeah, well, did not pay dividends for him whatsoever. Now a 5v3 set up really, really well for the attack here as nades come out now. Shield going down in attic. Electro is still playing that attic angle as well. Oh, Salting going down. However, he is down, but not out of it just yet. Blitz does still have a C4. Could make something dangerous happen as attackers are very stacked up. Pace spacing just not that great here right now, Shock. Yeah, all of the defenders are kind of stacked up right now too which is a little bit worrying for me and this these attic holes coming back to bite them a little bit i think maverick actually going to be oh. reloading in front of the holes and that's blitz going to take him out crucial mistake by the maverick there yeah but still looking pretty good for the attacker as i say that blitz picks up another one he's been doing really well on that hey and another one oh it's a triple kill for blitz.eu salting cracker goes down electro with the tk kill. however is going to be in a 2v1 but yeah, Blitz will pick up the last one. Pathton goes down. And wow, what a great play from the Cade there. Just sitting there, holding down the attic, absolutely destroying the attackers. I feel like they stalled out a little there. No hard breach from the attack, really limited their options. Yeah, they had a Maverick. They could have tried to push attic, especially with those head holes open. If they were able to kind of negate the defenders from being able to play on those head holes by pushing the other side of attic, they could have potentially saved like three people there that kate able to play just on the wall i said it was coming back to bite them but those head holes actually probably saved them the round yeah absolutely just keeping up with that pressure on the trophy angle not able to really give the attackers any leeway to push in there looking pretty good for them indeed defense picks up their very first round and they're gonna go back to kids oh i guess we're not playing uh, ranked rules set like i thought yeah, well, it's going to be a switch now, so the attacking team is not oh, going to sure. be on defense. I'm so used to casting comp, like, three rounds, <laughs> right. and bam, we're, we're, we're swift around already, but yeah. And we do see Harbridge instantly coming out, but we do also see the Osa and the Zero coming out as well. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about the Zero, but my audience says I, I absolutely really love Osa. Yeah, I like the Osa here, and I, really, I actually really do like um, Zero, especially on Oregon. I don't know how much of the Berlin Major you watched, but Rogue made a really, really good use out of Zero throughout the event. Really? Uh, Deepak just really just destroying teams uh, just with that intel gathering. And I think we have seen that intel has been the name of the game so far, and it has allowed a lot of the confidence to come in. However, Ile proving his copper rank there with <laughs> a lot of really embarrassingly missed shots, but I'm sure we've all had those moments. Yeah, I think we all have, but I don't oh, know what this the setup is. This here. This barbed wire, right? This is proof that these guys are in copper, right? Yes. Well, Putting in the, the barricades. Wire in the door and then barricading it. Yeah, and not only that, but the two walls behind Cav right now are fully reinforced for seemingly no reason as well. But there's going to be a drone directly under Alvarez's feet right now. I don't think he knows it, but he could be pinched out here if the attackers yeah. want to capitalize on that. Uh, also, just defenders, Saltine and Pig, because they've been the top fraggers, so Pig has been promoted to Doc, of course. A classic. Right, right. And if, I think they've just abandoned the whole try and do a strategy. No Harbour Chanel. They're just going to go straight for it. And Saltine, of course, will come and pay dividends for that Rook pick. Take out Tricky Ro Rick Owens. Instantly. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake by Tricky there with the drone. He threw the drone straight into the room, and he was so close to the door, he wasn't able to really check if it was clear. And he's going to get taken out for that. Yeah, some really good aggressive play coming out from Saltine there. And, uh, well, it's not something you see every day, Shork, but the Roaming Rook, I think it's underrated. Really? <laughs> roaming Rook with the, the hollow as well. Team. Right, Maybe true. Rook with the hollow. But true. Rook is going to be trying to sprint into the flank here as well as Alvarez. A pit, pit coming out from Pig right now. Whoa. Alvarez, what are you doing? Turn around. That's going to be SCP taking out the Cav and a whiff no. coming out from no. SCP onto no. the Rook. Saltine, turn to your left. You've got to get this kill after that whiff. Why are you zoned uh, out like that? SCP with another kill. Did you see how he's just like crouched aiming at the wall right there? Oh that no. Guy needs to on the headset for sure. Yeah. Right, well, SCP going to pick up two easy frags there, even though he had a bit of a whiff, but we'll forgive it for now. And he'll push it into a 3v3. Attic wall being opened up by the Habano now as well. But that Osa that you love so much, Shock, is gone. But Blitz going to make such an entrance here into the dorms. Just push in, take out the ADS, and no rotate here. No kill I, I, holes. It's not looking too good. 
I don't know that the defenders know this. Pig is Pig is inside of kids. He has no idea. LA inside of the games room. There's no rotate on white stairs. Pig, I don't think he has any feet holes onto the big window. So Blitz might be able to get this plant down. LA is going to push in. He's going to get taken out swiftly by Blitz. It's all up to Pig now in the 1v3. Can he clutch it out? A lot of damage being put onto Electro. Blitz going for the plant now. And he's down. SCP with another kill. That's the knife to finish it off. That's round number four. Going to the orange team. I feel like he had no no faith in the dock there. He could have brought it back, I think. He could have, yeah. I would have I I mean there's nothing he could have done I to change it. Them. Right. There's nothing he could have done to change it, but if he got those wall bank kills, I think he would have had that. Yeah. I, I as we said before, like just small strategic mistakes, no kill holes. I mean, normally you see either a kill hole or like feet holes for that Dom's jump in. You see just nothing there, and Blitz was able to get in super early, just go straight for that plant, and you could tell he was very worried about it because he kept getting off the plant and on again. But um, yeah, I think that was pretty well played by the attack. I think there was a lot, a small bit of trolling, just a small smidge of trolling coming out <laughs> from the defense there, uh, or whatever the hell was happening around Big Tower. Maybe a big smidge. <laughs> just, I don't know uh, what that flank was. The cab and the rook were in a prime position to, at the very least, take out the Havana, yeah. but they just. I, I don't mind. I don't mind how Alvarez played that. Just, just, just sprint all the way through. You know. I think if you're yeah. not confident in your gunplay, I think you just go for it, right? And you just act as the bait. Right. But, but yeah, my God, Saltine <laughs> really should have had that kill. That was not ideal from him. And the Habana also whiffed an entire mag of the bearing. I mean, that was just mistake upon mistake being piled on for by both teams. But ultimately, Habana came out on the better end of that. Going yeah. to round five, it's all tied up at 2-2. Two -two. What are we feeling? Oh, man, I don't know. Normally, like you'll hear pro players say like in pro league, the team that wins is the team that makes the least amount of mistakes right now. But we see so many mistakes coming out from both teams right now. So we're going to be tied 2-2. It's honestly, it's going to come down to just that. Who can make the least amount of mistakes here? So far, both teams have an abundance of mistakes. I don't really know what either team needs to do to come out on top here. It doesn't seem to be a gun skill issue necessarily, although we do have uh, Tricky and Suchi 0 and 4 on their team. So maybe some extra kills coming out from the orange team could help them out here. But I think just overall setups and strategy, team teamwork, coordination, all of that is like severely lacking right now. So if they can get that together, I think that team is going to pull out here. What are you feeling about the Cav pick? We've seen Cav multiple rounds now. Oh, man. I I think Cav is fine, I guess. But the way that the attacking team is playing, they're playing so together. Like, we kind of see them all push through, like, the same area. And if the entire attacking team is pushing the same area, you're not going to be able to get an interrogation. Even if Alvarez gets yeah. it down here, there's no way he's getting the interrogation off. So I feel like something like a, even like a vigil would be so much better on this map. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But from the attack, we're not seeing any hard breach here today. So I think it's going to be a blue take. I think that's the only viable take you have with no hard breacher. Yeah, we do have blitz with the hard breach gadget, but I don't ah, it know. Gadget. Okay. It doesn't look like they want to push above. And there's a late setup right now into Bunker. And hopefully the attackers don't rush right now. The shield getting placed 20 seconds into the round. That was very late. But Saltine with a peek on SCP. There goes your Zof. The LMG is getting taken out very early. Gridlock Trap is going to come out from Suchi right now. Yeah, and Zero Cam's going out as well, just trying to get that late bit of info into Electric. But not looking too great for the attackers is as Zofia going down. And we have seen that... Well, that LMG mare does seem to be pretty important. Tricky holding down Zulu. Looks like the attacker's going to try and pinch potentially through into Freezer. What do you think in here? Yeah, I mean, I think the Freezer slash Bunker take is fine, I guess. But the fact that they haven't been able to clear Bunker yet is a really, really bad sign. They definitely should probably do like a Freezer main take at this point. They're not really able to clear Bunker, it seems. So I think doing a Freezer main take, but oh. I said there's going to be no interrogation, but... Wow, Alvarez with the interrogation onto Electro. That is just devastating for the attacking team. Now Blitz just on his own back here. Impact grenade's going to come out, but I think it actually missed. Dots coming out from Blitz, but they're going to miss. And that's Saltine getting the kill. It's going to be all up to Suchi and Tricky in the one or 2v5 right now. That was a nice little flick from Suchi, but it wasn't enough to secure the kill. 
But yeah, as we say, 5v2 on a negation. Oh, oh no, what a disaster for the orange team. Suchi, the last man alive, and he's gotta be running for his life right now. Suchi just trying to play around the big tower outside of T1. They know exactly where he is. And Suchi not been having too hard of a game at zero and four. It's all down to him to clutch a one v five. I just had to say something, right, Sternab? I just had to yep. say something about the you interrogations. Just had to say it. Now, now the whole the whole comment section is ripping me apart right now. <laughs> That hard-hitting analysis just biting you in the ass right there. Suchi goes down. Another round. Saltine really putting up numbers on the board here on defense. Definitely. Taking a look at the scoreboard, we've got Saltine 8-3 and three for his team. And Blitz 8-3 and three for his team as well. So definitely two star players are very evident here. Still 0-5. Zero 0-5 and five, zero and five from Suchi and Tricky. We definitely need to see them start to get some kills. You can definitely have a player play bad in a match, but you really can't afford to have two players play bad, especially when they're on an entry fragger like Sledge. Yeah, and I mean, I know what people are going to say in the comment section, right? Bliss.eu, there's no way that guy is copper. Well, that guy is bronze. He's a 0.8 KD, so. Yeah. Like, this is, this is what we're dealing with right now, chat. Yeah, so do you think the Blitz guy is... An actual bronze slash copper player? Or I, think think so. I think so. I think so. Think so. I think he is because the way that he jumped in uh, into Dawn's window was just not a care in the world, and he was trying to he was planting in a really bad spot, and he was he knew it was a bad spot, right? And he kept coming off the diffuser in that round of the attack of the Dawn's. So yeah, I think you can tell right with the way that they play, and I think it's more about less about the aim and more about the strategic awareness, right? Because we see Saltine right when he's in that position where he can just sit on one area in blue and just hold that bunker door, he is fine. He's doing well. And that's normally where these guys actually do well, is just being able to have those one-on-ones. But when they have to move and when they have to be aggressive, we saw that flank of Big Tower and it just wasn't ending well for them whatsoever. Definitely not. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I do think that these guys are actually bronze slash copper, but I know a lot of people in the comments are going to disagree with us. They're, I already know it. When, when we're in the future reading the comments on this video, everyone's going to be saying how Saltine and Blitz are definitely not bronze. I actually like this, right? Because the last time they opened the door and then he, he threw the drone in right from the right and Saltine killed him. So I actually, I actually think this could work out very well. It could, but it doesn't look like... Oh, it actually... Tricky's going to push this. Please do not... Droning right in front of the door. What did you learn, Tricky? What did you learn? Oh, Cav... he's misdroned him. He's misdroned him. Oh, my God. Cav might get another interrogation here. There's actually a Habana coming to push here as well. Oh, no. This could be the Hard Breacher as well as the Sledge getting taken out. You already know Tricky's calling in the, ch the voice channel right now saying that Small Tower is clear. Alvarez with the flank. Yeah, and he got him. Oh no, SCP is going to be able to get away with his life. So the hard breacher at least stays alive, but that is just tragic. Tricky did not learn yeah. anything. And he just says F off in the chat. <laughs> that is his own <laughs> fault. That is his own fault. That's absolutely his own fault. That's that's the classic, you're solo queue ranked and someone drones small tower for you. Like, yeah, it's clear, bro. Go in. That's what happens. Yeah, that's exactly. That's that guy. Oh. Electro Nuggies taking out Saltine, and he's been a big threat as well. Really nice angle from Electro coming through into the kids' dorms there. Oh, his pink wow. gets a 2k straight up. He's got that commando. He's rocking it. You were you were critical of it, but there we go. We got two headshots in a row from him as Suchi trades it out to Isle. Suchi gonna get his first oh. kill, but he's gonna get refragged by Pig, and that's a run out by Alvarez, but he's gonna get taken out swiftly by Electro, who's just prone on the roof of big tower what is he doing up here his team was in sight with the diffuser and he is prone up here grenade's gonna come out gonna try to kill path but surely that doesn't do any sort of damage it is only a 1v2 but if electro nugget doesn't get off of this big tower roof he's not gonna have any hope yeah. of winning this yeah at this point you've got to realize you can actually still win this round it is still winnable you just gotta play it correctly you just gotta play it right looks like he's gonna try and go through satellite window wow. and he will take out alvarez so that was pretty good from him. And now he's managed to push it into 1v2. And that's now a confirmed 1v2 for him because we know Alvarez was down, but Electro now should be a little bit more confident. But you see, the barricades, they're everywhere. What is that C4 from Pig right now? He just threw the C4 directly on the barricade. And surely that was droned out by Electro. So I hope he doesn't fall victim to that. 
We we'll certainly see, but with only 30 seconds left to go, he is going to push into the satellite window, it looks like. Nitro will go out. It's going to destroy that barricade for him, but it means if he hops in now, people surely are going to be watching that path dunk. And Pig got that crossfire going in, but Electro will jump in. Tr shots will be traded. Electro trying to do something with only 10 seconds left on the clock. Electro just holding very neatly. Nitro goes out. The second one gone, but path dunk will secure the kill. Electro goes down. No 1v2 for him, and it will be a GG well played, because remember, this is ranked rules. 4-2, looking good. Yeah, and that's going to be the blue team winning here. Taking a look at the scoreboard. We saw Suchi step it up in the last round. He was able to get a kill. Tricky, not quite able to get a kill there. And I think really letting his team down with that drone work. Get this man off drone, Sternab. This guy needs to be the last person on a drone. Set this man that up with a pre-place. Yeah, he needs to set up a pre-place in the prep phase and then not hop on another drone the whole game. <laughs> but that's uh, the first map down to Oregon. Nice little intro to what was going to be happening there and to the skill level of these players. Hopefully, something can go a little bit different on club. My man's, my man's the first time he went to push small tower, he threw his drone all the way yeah. into the room. I called it. I, I called it. I called it. As soon as that cap sat in the corner, I'm like, this guy's going to get a kill because this sledge is going to do the exact same thing he did last time. He's going to sledge the, the door and he's going to throw his drone straight into small tower and not drone anything. Yeah, and I think that's kind of a sign of why these guys are in the rank they are, just not being able to not being able to adapt, adapt and learn from their mistakes. Yeah. To be honest, I think I would rather be in copper or bronze than in diamond anyway, because diamond is just filled with cheers. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I think like the golden spot is to sit around like plat, like low plat, like plat two yeah. is probably pretty nice. Do you get good, legit games against people with brains? Somewhat uh, with brains. They've got at least half a brain. Brains. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty then. We'll be getting into map two now. Clubhouse on the board. What what are we thinking about Clubhouse here? And we had a little bit of a discussion about it between the games, but I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I, I think my only my only wish, my only hope for this map is that Tricky can redeem himself. <laughs> yeah, I I would like to see that. Definitely need to see some better drama coming out from him. But as we were talking about in the menu. The main thing I was worried about moving into clubhouse is that the hard breachers are so integral to the attacking lineup. Yeah, and as absolutely. we see, no hard breacher. We could have a hard breach well, gadget on Fuse and Buck, but I don't true. think it'll be enough, to be honest with you. Um, another thing to note, the defenders are actually going to Jim Bedroom right now. So do you think that's not like... not bringing the castle. Yeah, no castle. I mean, on like the lineup is like bad. It's really bad. Legion, Vigil, yeah. Mozzie. I, I don't really know if that's... This is one of those one of those sites right where you have to bring castle because otherwise the attackers can get so much control almost instantly yes uh, especially where that jacuzzi side is, is is seen and you see blitz is picking up the cage so they do recognize that they do have to bring the harbor denial they do have to concentrate around that area but yeah like no castle i think all those windows getting open up in instantly and honestly you got the fuse in the mix up i think that could that could potentially hurt the defender's chances here uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see how it works out. Definitely, I'm I'm mostly interested in seeing if Alvarez or Lay has a hard breach gadget because if they do, they could try to make something work here. But honestly, I'm interested to see what sort of push they do. So far, a lot of the drones are spawning by the west side, so potentially. You could press like C on the observer, and it'll show you. Uh, or nope. B, maybe. Yeah. Ah. No, we don't get to see. You don't get to see not, yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, well, to be honest, I feel like Blitz is the only person on both teams who sees the importance of the hard breach, and yes. yet he brings the hand solo pistol. <laughs> I mean, you gotta give him a po you gotta give him points for style, right? And I, I don't. Style, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't know what's going on here. Like, there's just a rotate in the middle of the wall, and he's trying to make beat holes with the hand solo pistol, but Suchi with. His second kill of the entire match so far onto yeah. Pig. And he and he gets it onto one of the best players in the lobby. Pig put up some huge numbers in the previous match. And yeah, he's already off the board. Spawn Peak's already into a 5v4. Not looking too good for the attack here. And you know, we're saying about how the no hard breach. I think that's gonna be one big issue the attacker's gonna have to deal with. But they are trying to make their way, it looks like it's to be like a main stairs kind of take. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the plan here is. Okay, I mean, they could they could do, like, drop two people, Logi, and then push up main. I think that could work, potentially. 
Yeah, we are seeing a few of the attackers pushing in through Logi, but I'm really worried about Suchi right now. Gonna whiff. Oh. Salty and Cracker gonna take him out. I was about to say, I'm worried that Suchi is just gonna hide in this corner and get two big frags there. Saltine had the better gun skill. He's going to have to worry about Tricky, though. Who's going to get another kill? He's going for two, but he's not going to get it. Alay is the refrag. Wow. Yeah. That's a classic issue as well. We know the skill level is where you're going up those stairs. You've always got to be aiming at the top. You've always got to be worried about someone peeking. you got to be pre-aiming stuff where people can peek you from. No one is peeking you from inside the wall next to you. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, definitely. Crosshair placement, not the best right there. But that's going to be SCP getting downed by Alvarez. He's going to hop out the window. He's got a Legion Mine in his foot. It lay on about 50 HP right now. Uh, the the defenders definitely have the advantage right now, but as I say, the Alvarez oh. gets a kill on SCP and Blitz with a nice refrag, swiftly getting that refrag. It's all up to a lay now in the 1v2. Both of yeah. the defenders are pretty hurt, so he could win this, but it's not going to happen. Blitz proving he is just possibly the best player in the lobby. I got to tell you, I have absolutely no idea what happened in that round. Yeah, I have no I'm idea absolutely either. lost in the sauce for that one. I think that's kind of the point of the video. <laughs> oh, oh, and the trash talk coming out from Tricky. I'm liking it. I'm oh, liking it. He's no. getting a bit more confident. He's getting a bit cocky. He is. But the thing is, is I, I don't think he's recovered from the drones yet. He's only gotten one kill. I don't think he's recovered enough to be typing easy think, in the chat. I think he'll redeem himself if he successfully drones out someone when he's on attack. If he yes. does that, I'll give him credit. Right. Oh my God, he's doubling I down on the one, easy. Another one, the double down. 10 seconds later, no one responded, so he doubled down on it. LA not having any of it. <laughs> not having any of it. One round. Saltine. Saltine living up to his name. He is Saltine Cracker right now because he is salty about that trash talk coming in. Oh, my Tricky. God. He, see, he, he's getting into the mental. He's getting the psychological warfare, and I think yes. I'm appreciating that. He's playing the mental game. You got to give it to him. If he can't play the Absolutely. actual game, at least he can play the mental game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see how CCTV goes. It's a bit more of a default site, I feel. And yeah, we will see again. Blitz coming out with Arcade. I think he's done, he's done really well in that cage, to be honest. Like he had that almost clutch uh, on Oregon Basement last map. Yeah. And you know, he's he's aware of what he needs to do here, I feel. He was playing pretty good. What are your thoughts on the Blitz and the cage being brought on CC here? A little bit overkill? Um, I like it because if you think about it, you've got the, like the garage, you've got the cash wall, you've got the main wall, you know, having the bandit here also gives you a lot of options. I think it would probably prefer the mute over the bandit here. Yeah. Um, to give you some like internal denial options on top of that, because as you said, it is a little bit overkill, but it really depends on what we want to do. What I like to do here is have the Cade go for both the garage walls from above and then have the, the bandit play on site. Right. Yeah, and I think that would be the most beneficial thing they could do as Paft is on the Thatcher right now. So they've got the Thatcher Thermite combo. We're finally seeing the Hard Breach getting taken out here. But I think it would definitely be nice to see SCP play, do a little bit of uh, banner yeah. tricking on the CC wall. That is that is crazy that there's there's no operator bands. And this is the first time, I'm pretty sure, we're seeing Thatcher come out. Yeah. This is the first time we've seen Thatcher. Yep. And they're just going to get the wall pretty much immediately. They actually know to do the double Thatcher grenade, yeah, too. Okay, so that, okay, okay. that's going to stop the cage. Well, even the triple. One more for, for good luck. Wow. But that's really the only wall they need to really open. I think you would also like to open up the garage wall, perhaps, as well. Alvarez, though, just all the way in sight right now. Alvarez going to go for what? three. He was going for three, but it's not going to happen. He gets one kill onto Tricky. So much for the trash shot coming out from Tricky, but... He's going to get taken out by Blitz. Not going to lie, I thought we were spectating one of the defenders there because he was already up top right and no one was reacting to him. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah. there's a defender. How but did that, that happen? That is crazy. No barbed wire, no setup, no one watching on red stairs. That is a huge tactical blunder from the defense there. But hopefully it doesn't punish them too much. We've already got Raptor's control. But Saltine goes down. Suji takes up a kill onto Path Tunk as well. And Electro is going to have to move back into the site if they want to secure something here. But it's a 4v2. Still looking pretty good for the defense, although they all are very stacked up. I think we should have smokes from Jackal here, so maybe he could make a potential play. Claymore is on Jackal. No, Claymore. Okay, never mind. I, I take it all back. So. <laughs> I take it all back. Well, they also don't have the diffuser. Suchi downstairs holding the bomb right now, so they're going to have to go and retrieve the bomb if they want to have any hope of winning this round. A minute left now, so they have some time to work with, but is it going to be enough? They still have to clear Suchi downstairs. It's not looking yeah. good for the attackers. 
too much stalling out right now as well as the Nitro starts to get ripped. Isla trying to defend against that. Moves in, wow. but Blitz will take him down. Pig actually does manage to recover that diffuser, but doesn't seem to be aware that someone could be watching it as Suchi punishes him for that mistake. Pig goes down. Orange team takes the second round, and here comes Tricky again with that mental play. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, easy it was, I have to say. I was a little bit worried when the Buck was just walking all the way up the red stairs. He was in a position right there to get three big kills. If he had the game sense and the mechanical skill to flick onto those three targets, I, he definitely would have pulled away with three kills there. So good good shots yeah. by Bliss to shut him down. But definitely, I think one of the, the main problems there was Thatcher trying to push downstairs with the diffuser. Elay had to walk down there and try to grab the bomb. It just put them in a really bad spot. It's like Suchi has to go. After such an amazing performance in that last round as well. Uh, unfortunately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of a rehost, but we're back now, and we got Cleveland to replace um, Suchi. Yeah, Suchi unfortunately had to leave. And after he had such an incredible round as well, but unfortunately, he'll leave us, and we'll get him back. And back also to Tricky. Yes, with the easies. Talk in, talk in his mouth. Right. I feel like that's such a copper insult to just say easy mode. Like just say easy, yeah. I, I I'll tell you this. I've never I've seen like a lot of trash talk in my days, right? But I've not once ever seen someone say easy yeah, mode to me. It happens a lot in EU. I think not easy mode, but just easy in general. Like yes. we played this guy in EU rank the other day and he jumped out, killed one person and got traded and lost the round and he said easy. And I was like, yep. Yeah. Dude, okay, I've noticed that playing in EU2, people actually do say easy a lot, but another thing they yeah. say is noob, like constantly. Yeah. It's so weird, because like coming from NA, nobody says noob. I, I love EU ranked personally. I think if you want to have a great time, you play like silver, gold, EU ranked yeah. in solo queue, and you just talk to your teammates, and it'll always be a great experience because... Like, they just speak in such a weird version of English. It's just, ah, oh, it's great. I love it, it. Yeah, I also love when they, they get... They say my friend a lot. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ricky interrupting oh. me with the kill on assaulting. Here comes the easy. Come on, he's got to type it. He has to type it. He has to. He's, he's stopped moving. That's Cleveland with the first kill of his game here onto yeah, Alvarez. Alvarez going down. Yeah, there goes your good. hard breacher on salting crackers, as well as any potential hard breach gadget on the buck. Yeah, really, really good start for the defense there. No easy coming up from Tricky, but I think his actions speak for themselves, you know? He right. goes for Spawn Peak, he kills him. He doesn't have to say anything. Saltine, punch in the air right now. Oh, oh there we go. Easy, question mark. Pretty easy. What, do, did I just see blue? All of blue reinforced? I can't really tell. All of blue is reinforced and dirt Oh, soft. it's catered too. Wow, okay. And I, You'd be surprised. Like I see this happen in like low elo games, and the amount of times it actually works because the other team just sits in blue and it doesn't do like anything. Like this. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. So dirt is soft, and Elay's gonna be able to sludge that open and just walk in right now. Pig is in blue, yep. doing exactly what you said he's gonna be doing. Just sitting in here, not sure of what to do. Paft and uh, Ilya are gonna push in through dirt here, though. This actually could be good. Or pig. He could try to get like a little bit of a crossfire angle here with his yeah, teammates. Absolutely could. Absolutely could. And both these armies are now gone as well. SCP getting a bit aggressive here, trying to go for a peak and actually will down pig. He's down. Well, not the out boost. Yet, but his teammates. Oh, on the inside. And yeah, the finger boost comes in. And he's going to be back up and gaming once again. Go for the pre fires as well. Looks like Paft trying to come in from the other side and trying to help him out. Goes for the pre fires also. A lot of utility left on both sides. It looks like Pig is going to try and go for a rotate now. Realizing he really can't do much from that blue angle. Yeah, rotate coming here from uh, LA as well. But Tricky is going to be playing inside of Moto. So he's got to watch for this. Deagle coming out. Going to try to get the quick peeks. Copper quick peeking? Question mark. There oh. goes LA. Wow. Tricky, he was getting a bit, he was getting a bit, you know, ahead of himself there, but, you know, he got the kill in the end, so you can't really be too mad about it, and Blitz will shut it all down from Pig, and it's going to be a flawless round from the Orange team as well, beautifully played by them. Tricky, Tricky, I feel, has really got into their heads right now, you know. Definitely, he, he is definitely playing the mental game right now, and only with two letters, too, he's chalked our mental with two letters. Two letters. And a bit of punctuation. That's all it takes to completely crumble a team's mental.
Yeah, the mental game is uh, it's underrated. I'll say that. But we're going to swap things around now, and it will be instead the blue team coming out onto defense now. We'll see if they can pick it up here. We'll see what they can do. I'm going to go to CCTV room and cash. We can see Jaeger. I feel like we have not seen a lot of Jaeger today. We haven't. Not at all. And I remember on Oregon, I mentioned something about it. They were trying to play in bunker, but they didn't have a Jaeger or a Wamai. Yeah. Yeah. You really do need uh, that kind of denial of projectiles on this map, especially if you're going to try and hold garage rafters. Yeah. And we also, we yeah, glossed over it a little bit. Man. There's a... Uh, we glossed over a little bit, but Orange Team is actually on match point right now, so all they have to do is win this That's one true. round. But they don't really have a great lineup. Taking a look at their operators, we've got an Amaru. I guess the Zero is not the worst thing ever, but I don't know. This 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 whole lineup just feels weird. Like, the Kali is not bad, but they don't have a hard preacher to, like, go with the Kali. So, I honestly, I'm, I'm not really sure about the lineup here. Something I actually, um, I don't know if he's going to, I don't think he's going to do it, but something I actually don't mind on this map because it could be very weird to do is Amaroing into the radio window in CCTV, you know? Yeah. Because people are always, they're listening for the jump in, right? But it's very different when you Amaru in. It sounds very different. Oh, oh Cleveland God, taking all of his HP. Yeah, the Amaru gadget saving his life right there. But he's going to escape with just about one HP. And there's no Finca to get him any extra HP. So he's going to have to play the rest of the round out on one HP. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, bit of weird barbed wire placement oh. going on. But it looks like Blitz will be here to try and get it open. But it's going to be a K charge on there. So you're not going to be able to take it down. But Tricky will score the first kill of the round. Going to the attack. I lay will go down. And really, that's going to be the whole master side clear. Yeah, definitely. It looks like Tricky's going to try to drone. Hopefully his drone work is a little bit better than it was here on Oregon. He's going to try to push in through master into construction right now. He's actually got a droner. Which is good. I definitely want to see Tricky having a droner. He should not be droning himself. We actually see Pig just walking into construction, though. He's going to get taken out by Tricky. He's going to be going for a third kill on the round here. A little bit of damage on a Saltine Cracker, but not enough to kill him just yet. It is Saltine versus Tricky right now, and an aid will go out. Ooh. And it will score the kill. The ADS being placed on the wrong side there. And Alvarez and with the flank. Alvarez with the flank, though. Through Logi will kill pick up Blitz and Electro, and well, you know, Tricky's got to be a little bit worried about all of that happening. SCP trying to go for the rotate up red instead. Tricky trying to find out what his cav is, but all Alvarez has to do is just play patiently. The drone coming out. Yeah, and he does have the diffuser here, so Tricky droning, but actually checks the corner this time. Finally, Cav oh. going to be able to run away, though. That's a crucial mistake. Don't ever sprint in this situation, Tricky. He's going to get the kill anyways. Wow, the T-Bag's coming yeah. out. That's a mental shocker for sure. Quad kill on the round from Tricky now. He's going to be trying to go for the ace. It's all up to Path now. He's going to get a shot onto the Cali. That's SCP getting taken out. Tricky's trying to push in through the construction door. Cleveland on the CCTV window trying to hold the cross. Yeah. All, all Cleveland has to do is watch the cross here. All down to Path to try and make something happen. Flashbang's coming out as Tricky tries to push on the other side. He's 8-0 right now. He's feeling himself. It's all going to be down to Path to try and shut him down. But the plant will come out. As the cover comes out from oh. Cleveland as well. He jumps in. Oh, Paf takes him down. It's a 1v1. It's all down to Tricky versus Paf Dung. Two of the best players on each team in a 1v1 to decide the fate of the rest of the game. Just holding on patiently. Tricky trying to get a bit more aggressive as well. And he will ace. push through as you will see this way. It's going to be an ace to finish things off. Tricky beautifully played by him. And also just chalking that mental. I think really redeeming himself after a really bad performance in the previous map. Yeah, and an ace by Tricky, and then a 4-0 by the orange team. GGs. He's saying Smith. I really don't think so. I really I don't, don't think, think so. so. Not no. with the way that he was playing. I the, really don't the think so. The way he was droning, the way he clears angles. Yeah, no. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be tied 1-1. One one, both of these teams securing one map so far. We're going to be battling it out here on Coastline to see who takes the Copper Crown here. What are your thoughts here, uh, Mr. Sternam? I think Tricky's feeling himself now. I think after an amazing performance on the previous map. And he's in he's in the mental. He's in the old chat. He's typing a lot. Coastline, also one of those maps now where you can get a lot of those easy gunfights early on. Strategy, put it aside. Put it on the back seat. Put it on the back burner. Who cares? Let's go around and just kill some people. And I think, honestly, Tricky really did show that when he does get those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, he does tend to perform pretty well. Definitely, yeah. We saw, I think he had, what, eight plus kills last game, nine kills last game. So definitely 
the star player for the orange team, which is crazy because he definitely was not the star player the first map on Oregon there. The drone yeah, work was Oregon. rough, yeah. but he redeemed himself. He did redeem himself. He did redeem himself. And I'm ready to see the completion of that entire arc. And I'm already seeing some questionable things coming out. Yes, Paths reinforcing some interesting walls. We've got a Rook right now. I hate Rook. I'm sorry. We do have to rotate. We do have to rotate. I think it's underrated. But he's just practicing for next season, you know, when the Rook yeah. gets buffed. Right, right. Yeah. I think here also, what is underrated thing is you got to really reinforce that VIP wall, either the outside or the inside wall to, to kind of prevent that angle from happening, right? I don't yeah. know if that's really going to be abused, but just totally one of those things though. that it's like a small strategy thing, right? Yeah, we're about to see Cleveland, a copper player on the sends. This gun is notoriously difficult to control the recoil on. Copper's already not being that good at recoil control, so I'm interested to see how well, Cleveland's going to fare with this. He's relying on the recoil headshot to come in. Right, right. So maybe so it's a buff. More recoil, yeah, the more recoil you have, if you aim with the floor all the time, then the easier it is. You got the Osa in there, though. You like it a bit of Osa. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's... Quickly yeah. pushing into awkward right now. I think he's alone as well. I'm not really sure where all the attackers are. Everyone kind of seems to be spread out doing their own thing right now. Wow, that's going to be Electro with the first kill of the map on Alvarez. There goes the Jaeger. Being a little bit too yeah. aggressive in the hallway there. Also, Alvarez is just not really aware of that angle. And we were talking about it before. And here we go. It's the VIP not being held. None of the walls are reinforced. And Blitz easily able to find himself in here and just a Ooh. great angle being held here i lay almost getting picked up there but well one minute into the round and i think this is looking amazing for the attack right now they've already got that aqua control they're droning out the luggage scp is in here very deep we've got the vip control as well this is looking amazing definitely yeah they're gonna have to worry about saltine on the flank right now the scp is gonna have to watch his back because he's currently on a drone tricky with the kill of his own onto saltine cracker oh that was actually the rook flanking as well ash actually gonna fly yeah. straight into sight right now you just ran into sight and then just is looking around at the ground. What are we doing here? He's picking up his utility points, of course, and <laughs> just sits there in the sight. But defenders are being completely pushed out right now. Smokes are going out. Electro does see one. Pathton goes down. It's a 2v5 all down to Ilay. And Pig is gaming. Now, Pig has managed to do some really good things with his commando. And I think he could do it again. But the diffuser is going down. No nitro cell coming out just yet to deny that. As no, my 5v2 is going to be retake, retake into an Osa as well, Shock. It's not looking too good. Electro does take a bit of damage. Electro will pick up Ile. However, it's all down to Pig is gaming. He still has that Nitro Cell in his back pocket. Only 30 seconds left to go on that Diffuser. He's got to really have to hoof it and move those feet if he wants to try and do a retake here. Pushing through into Luggage and Aqua. Electro seems to know he's there. Oh, almost whiffed it. But you see, just hold down left click. Pray and spray, and eventually you will score a headshot. <laughs> yeah, the one-shot headshots really showing their uh, true colors right there. Electro with a nice kill, if you want to call it that, onto the uh, Mozzie there. No C4 coming out from Mozzie. Uh, that was a, yeah. a big mistake. I, I feel like he definitely could have picked up one, at least two kills. All of the attackers were just jumbled together inside of the site right there. One Absolutely. C4, and Absolutely. he could have had so many kills. Also, I feel... With the changes to service entrance, with the uh, the bomb area being moved from the door, yeah. kitchen is by far the superior site. Definitely, yeah. We're gonna see them go so, there this round, so that's I think I think that's yeah. definitely a good change. I'm glad to see the bitch kitchen coming out. I think just a little bit of non map awareness in terms of uh, what they choose to reinforce, what they choose to hold. I think sometimes on coastline it's very easy to think you can just sit there and hold the one site. Uh, but you really do have to spread out a little bit and you have to make sure you've got a lot more control going on. And hopefully we're going to see a little bit of that, of course, coming out here. No hard reacher, uh, probably. Well, I mean, Blitz probably has the hard reach charge again. Uh, he's really been on that with the zero and K. Yeah, and I think it's not as big of a deal if they don't have a hard reacher on coastline, especially yeah. it's just such a frag heavy map and the way that well, the attackers okay. are playing. Normally, normally. If we were in a regular comp or ranked game at like diamond level, right? I'd be right. thinking I want a hard reacher to open up the VIP wall. Yeah. To get that upstairs control. But I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna take a slight guess and say there's absolutely no one upstairs holding that and Electro Nuggets has TK'd. What is the TK? Was he trying to control recoil or what was going on here to TK um, onto the blitz? Well, That's the it's, best it's player a, for the orange team. It's a common strategy 
about TKing as a blood sacrifice to the siege gods, and <laughs> therefore it does improve you. Because the legendary is, is currently top fragging, so if you're right. gonna put that sacrifice onto anyone, you want to get onto your top frag. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. How is Alay able to drive a Mozzie drone and then ping Ash on the door like that and it not get shot? That was a little bit baffling to me. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't uh, too great from Tricky there. I think uh, obviously Tricky has a bad track record with the drones, of course. So yeah, I think I've, he just had a bit of a PTSD moment there. I've actually never seen someone so bad when it comes to drones in general. But as I say that, Cleveland with the kill onto LA. There goes the Mozzie. So that's going to be the C4 gone to try to stop this plant here. And wow, Tricky just hopping Ooh. straight into the site right now. He's going to have to face... Uh, Paft, who's behind the bomb right now. A whiff coming out that uh, SMG-12 so hard to control. Loading yeah, you really don't want to be in that situation with the SMG-12, but Saltine going to try and retake. As the plant is going down from Electro, SCP will push in. Pick up Saltine. Easy as that. Alvarez and Pig are out of the site. They're locked out. Everything is reinforced from the Everything's defense. Everything's barricaded. And this is just absolute disaster right now. The defense are locked out. Piggy's gaming goes down. It's all down to Alvarez. A 1v4 to try and clutch it out. Tricky with a lot of whiff oh. shots there, but whiff shots going back and forth as Electro finally says, hey, stop this. Moves in, shuts it down, and that's going to be a second round for the attack. Yeah, I think that round is a great example of why you shouldn't barricade everything. A lot of low rank players see a door and they automatically yeah. think they need to barricade it, but that just goes to show exactly why you shouldn't do that. And also, as I said before, you know, that you can't just sit in sight and defend it. You've got to open stuff up. You've got to have a kind of a horizontal hole going on. But they had absolutely everything reinforced. No way to retake off that situation at all. And that Osa, I feel, is doing a lot of good work for the attack. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And I, I also want to note that the team kill didn't stop the attack from winning that round. And pretty well, decisively said, is that. As I said, it's a buff. The team right. kill, the blood sacrifice. I mean, Ents used to do it all the time in Pro League, and they're pro players, I'm sure. There's there's some validity there. Wow, what is this Mozzie Pest oh, right there? This is some advanced strategy coming out from Pig. I actually <laughs> yeah. like that. I actually yeah. think that's good. I might use that one day. Right, I mean, I think the concept is good, but I'm not sure if the location is good for that pest specifically, but... Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I, don't, I just don't think it's obvious, right? Like, because you, you're looking at a hole in the ground. You're thinking, well, what is that? What's going on there? And you then you check it out. Drone through, it picks it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's not I a think, bad trap. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Because you see a hole in the ground like that. Are you thinking there's a body drone in there? No, I'm thinking there's some sort Absolutely. of like, some you sort of like C4 peak hole. Or, yeah, C4 or something. Yeah. Wow, did you see the the frost setup right now? Yeah, 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 what? I wish we could get an in-depth look at that. What? Oh, the frost mat just right here. I have a lot of questions. Yeah, there's some, there's some interesting frost mats coming out for the defense right now, but uh, Cleveland is going to put all that to bed as he looks up salty and says, hey, frost, your frost mats suck and kills him. <laughs> yeah. Reason. I hope that's what he said, because these frost mats are, <laughs> are definitely questionable. We need to uh, watch our frost guide or something. Check out the Astralis channel or do something, man. That was Absolutely. not it. Oh, SCP already inside of Aqua right now, though. And Pig just sharing the wall with him. You see him to the wall. The wall veins are coming out. Not even a little bit of damage onto SCP. He's going to place the shield now. You have a C4. Throw it out. Is it going to happen? Yep. That's SCP yeah. getting taken down. There's the C4 from Pig that we didn't see the other round. Yeah, and Pig really needed to get that kill as well. We did see how oppressive that Osa was for the Aquatic the last time the attacks did this, and now that Osa has been dealt with, and hopefully the defense should be able to hold onto Aqua for just a little bit longer this time, if not indefinitely. But we see the VIP not really having any setup again this time. Blitz easily able to get in there, open up that angle. I say this is such a strong angle to have. Yeah, that, that VIP angle is really strong. And we're actually going to see Alvarez trying to flank right now, but Tricky's going to be watching. That's an easy kill for him. And as I say, that Electro with the kill onto Pig. So there goes the Mozzie. Ele going to be swinging, but Cleveland's got the cross there. The Frost Mat actually got someone in the Capcom trap from Alvarez. The swing coming out from Tricky, and he's going to get the shots onto Pat. But we were hating on the traps, sir, not. But look at that. All the yeah, trap kills trap ringing off. Trap yeah, true, true. I feel like if you're going to play against a team who's clearly not droning that well, Trap meta is the way to go, you know? Yeah, I would and say... I did say it, it paid dividends, though. Yeah, I would say a good rule of thumb is if you're against Tricky, uh, go ahead and run the Frost in the cap can. Absolutely, absolutely. But, I mean, he didn't get picked up by it, but we did see a couple of his teammates go down.
He did it, but if he's but if he's the one joining in his teammates, you already know he's not clearing any of those traps for him. So that is true. That is absolutely true. Well, we see seven rounds in a row now for the orange team. Tricky, got to be feeling good. But really, it's been Electro who's been the star of the show on this map. Yeah, and I think the main problem from the blue team here is just there's no one stepping up to the plate to try to get some kills here. We've got two donuts on the blue team, and then everyone else just has one kill. So they're really, really struggling. Blitz has cooled off a little bit. We saw he was playing so well on Oregon, and now he's cooled off a little bit. But it doesn't matter because Electro is playing pretty good, as well as Tricky in Cleveland. So just looking at the scoreboard, it's pretty evident what the problem is here from the blue team. Yeah, I mean, KD isn't everything, obviously. Uh, right. Uh, but I think with the way that things have been going, um, just with the like, just holding every all the angles. Like obviously, there's a there's an element of strategy that's been missing. But we talked about the VIP wall as well and not holding aggressively. I think it's been a bigger issue on the defense than it has been on the attack. Yeah, definitely. And I think the attack has been able to get away with just capitalizing on that and just walking around and winning their gunfights, to be honest. And it seems like they have a little bit more coordination. The orange team definitely seems like they had some more coordination in their pushes. Absolutely. Absolutely. After with the Maverick, what are you thinking about the Maverick here? Uh, I just, I don't see what he's going to open with Maverick. I really, I the, can't. The only, the only Maverick play I see here is VIP wall. That, that's about it. Yeah, he could push VIP, but he's all the way by ruins right now. So it doesn't seem likely that that's the push that he wants to do. He's going to repel up to the Aqua Valk. The Aqua Valk, like barricade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. All right. Oh, what is going he's on? He picked Maverick for the gun because he can control it really well. Clearly. You know what? You got to give him props. You got to give him props. Oh, that's actually a down from LA. That's Electro getting taken out there. The Azami, though, from uh, SCP, going to get the ride off. Yeah, oh, the like nade's it. coming out, though. Oh, Ooh. my God, that was scary. <laughs> a little bit of body blocking going on there. Yeah, but they didn't manage to get away, and no control of Aqua yet. Either no one on the Aqua Balk, that's really punished them, because Pathdunk was more aggressive there, and he, he controlled Aqua Balk. He really could have picked up a kill, but he will pick a kill regardless of that. On the upside down repel, he's going to try and get these zombies off with the very interesting nade coming out there, but, well, Alvarez is below. He's got the book as well. He could do a bit of vertical play here. Good. I'm not really sure what he's opening right now. There actually is someone playing inside of Aqua. At least there was, if I can find them. That's going to be SCP playing inside of Aqua right now. He's going to have to worry about the person playing on the skylight, though. That's going to be Path. And just as I say that, cool. he's going to get taken out. Blitz with another kill onto Saltine. So that's going to be the refrag coming out. It just kind of seems like the defense is just wandering around aimlessly right now, and they're just getting picked up all over the place. But Tricky will start to bring things back. Alvarez will go down. And that's going to re-secure that backside. So now all the attack can do is push in from this front side. Hooker, Cleveland's going to try and shut that down as well. He will manage to get the down, it looks like. Oh, no, no, he's not down. He's just he's just prone. That XUC clip, I'm sure you've seen that. <laughs> yes, I saw that. That was, uh, that was definitely something. But uh, we really just see Cleveland here doing massive amounts of damage onto the attacking team. Able to just sit behind the bar and pre-fire with that MPX. Doing huge amounts of damage. Putting Path to about 1 HP and Alay to about half HP. Invert Repel's coming out right now and a little bit of lag there, but it looks like uh, Pig's going to get the kill onto Blitz, who is playing inside of Aqua. It's all up to Tricky and Cleveland now. Tricky trying to go for the flank. He doesn't know it, but the barricade's just obstructing the view of that. Sophia, the whiff coming out from Tricky. Oh, looks like we're lagging a lot right now. Pig is going to get the kill yeah. onto Tricky and Path with another kill onto Cleveland. A little bit of lag there, I so I'm not really sure what I happens. Yeah, I thought Tricky for a second there just had like the best control of the recoil ever for the MPX. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like he liked that a little bit there, unfortunately. But still match point for Tricky's team. But unfortunately, they will drop their first round in over seven rounds of continuous winning in a row. They will finally be stopped. I know Coastline, obviously seen as a very attacker-sided map, regardless of what the meta is. So not too surprising to see a so attacker-sided Coastline. Yeah, definitely not. And even with that, though, the defense actually did almost pull through with the win there. Just a couple little mistakes. And uh, I feel like if they didn't make those, we would be in the menu right now. Another 4 0 for the blue team or the orange yeah. team. And Tricky would be letting him know. Tricky would be letting him know. He's quiet this game. He's even saying yeah, much. I'm that's surprised. True. That's, that's true. That's true. He's only said E. That's it. I guess that's all he's got to say when they're winning seven rounds in a row. Yeah. I said, 
actions speak louder than words. And Tricky's still putting up numbers this round as well. Uh, this map even. Definitely. And the blue team doing exactly what I said they needed to do. They needed say, to get some kills. And once they Saltine, did, they're winning. Saltine had a really good performance on Oregon. And since then, he's just fallen off a cliff. I feel like Tricky's living in his head run free right now. Yeah, I agree. Because Saltine was the one that was responding the most to yeah. Tricky. So I feel like he got his mental chalked. Let's hope he can try it and pick it up now. They are on the attack. Hopefully, she should be feeling a little bit more confident about this. And we are going to see Kitchen again, as we said. Probably one of the better sites now on Coastline with the uh, new changes. Probably. What do you think what about the Kate on the on, on the quad the wall here? <laughs> um, Innovative just don't strategies. think it's necessary. I think Blitz just loves playing Cade. And therefore, I think he's playing it for the know, gun. Yeah, he's playing it for the gun, right? Like, he was playing Zero as well, so... Ooh. You gotta think he he just plays all pros again. Sneaky play by Cleveland here. There's actually gonna be it's like uh, Maverick pushing in underneath right now. Wow, Tricky with a oh. one tap on the pistol and Blitz with the kill on the saltine. So, I mean, hey, if he can get the kills with the gun, then why not continue to play it? Blitz with a nice shot onto, uh, I believe that was Pig. Yeah, it was, and not looking too good at all for the attack now. Losing two of their, well. Previously, pretty best players, but not so sure anymore these days. Alvarez with a quick drone into bathroom. We'll get shut down and pushes into a 3v5. Cole going out as well. Looks like the attack wants to get a little bit more aggressive here, but Proof is coming out. Alvarez trying to crouch walk his way through. Blitz holding down things, however, and Electro in the bathroom. SCP will shut down Alvarez. He tries to make anything work there. That's the Doku be going down. Path Dunk in LA. Do you think they can bring it in, Shock? Uh, I don't know. Taking a look at the scoreboard, Paft is the best player right now for the blue team, but LA has yet to get a kill, so we're definitely going to need to see them step it up a little bit. I'm not sure what that was. Prefire is coming up to the wall right now. They got to be careful because Cleveland is trying to flank through the security hall right now. Yeah, they got to get some picking up some frags here if they want to try and attempt to do anything. SCP getting droned out there. A lot of wasted drones coming up from the attack. They do still have that jackal on the board. So there is potential for a lot of intel despite losing drones, but that's not going to help. This path don't goes down. It's all down to Islay in a 1v5 to try and make something happen. And he won't be able to get one kill. It's a flawless round from the orange team to close things out for one. Beautiful performance from them. And yeah, I think that's all wraps. Yeah, GG's old man reaction time coming out from both of those players. They were having a staring contest there yeah, in, the, in the office. But, they're just uh, saying hello to each other. They're just saying hello. Right. Quick wave. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the orange team taking the win here. Everyone just swiftly leaving the uh, lobby here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking the video. Make sure to follow Sternab. The links to his socials will be down below in the description. I didn't get to mention it earlier, but he's definitely a really cool guy. I've been friends with him for years. Very, very good caster. So make sure to guy, make sure you guys follow him. The links to his socials are down below, like I said. And once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Turn those notifications on. I do post videos here daily on the channel. Remember to like, comment down below any suggestions you have for future videos, and thank you so much for watching. Have you ever watched Breaking Bad? Yep. I was watching yesterday, and Walter, it's after they buy the the um, the car wash, right? Yeah. And Walter gets the uh, $300 bottle of champagne, right, and to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And Skylar's like, oh my god, Walt, how could you do that? You know, we gotta make sure people think we're poor and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, you just bought an $800,000 car wash. Like, who are you trying to fool out here, you know? Like...